And now, several days later than planned, well, probably more than that, more like four or five, the much-advertised How to Speak Cockney. Uh, let's have a look and see what this guide thinks it's doing with Cockney. Well, I've, uh, this is from the same source about how, how to speak Roadman, which had some interesting versions of how to speak Roadman. Cockney rhyming slang 101 by Lottie Redford. Words and phrases to make you sound like the real deal. And um, here's a tip, just don't use Cockney slang. If you're not a Cockney, you sound like a prat. Um, there's no, there's nothing worse than hearing people walk around the east end of a middle class doing this, or who are even working class and come from other areas of Britain. There is no need to do it. Just be yourself. No, you are not required to walk around the east end doing this. There is not some magic thing. But let's just say what they, knowing your low from oh. And straight away, knowing your loaf of bread from... Uh, can someone please get these guys some basic lessons in how to do e editing? Look at this. Uh, uh, I, uh, knowing your loaf... Oh, knowing. Send these guys back to school with some basic... Stop using... AI or sort of word to do your editing. Learn how to do it yourself first and then rely on it. In any case, how to speak Cockney slang like a local. Hanging out in an East London boozer, uh, if you can afford to, which is another matter, if you've got £8 for a pint at a time. Um, our top tip, tip real uh, Cockneys off, don't often use a whole Cockney rhyming slang phrase. No, they use the first word. Mentioning booze, um, boozers. Um, I would. Uh, 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 it's going to look a bit like advertising, but if you want a pub that sells beer cheaply and you are in London, Lord John Russell in the West End, uh, because it's um, near the university district, is knocking out pints at two and three pound and a, a pint some nights. There you go. Um, Cockney slang in common use. So let's see what they've got. Barnet Fair hair. Yes, all right, fair enough. We'll go with that one. This is usually shortened. Shelton to Barnet and is a really common Cockney slang word. You might hear, did you get your Barnet done? And look at the state of his Barnet. Well, you might if you talk to some people or older Cockneys or the remaining few young ones. Boat race, face, brass tax, fax. Let's get down to brass tax. Bread and honey, money. Possible Bristol City breasts. Um... A little lewd, well, just a bit, yeah. But I love how they go. Is that hopefully people are a little bit more respectful these days. Um, I'll, uh, going with one of the uh, entries further down the list, uh, you must be having a bubble. Um, <laughs> you'll still hear it said, "Brown bread dead." Yes, has had an infamous gr in infamously in Guy Ritchie movies and so forth, where people try and sound like um Cockney Hardman. Um, Use more bubble bath, laugh. Use more in a derisive, irritated and threatening tone than when Cockneys are having fun. You're having a bubble, mate, meaning you're having a laugh or you must be joking. For example, that speech by Boris, he must be having a bubble, mate. A butcher's hook, a look. Have a butcher's like that. Said literally every by every, Cockney at every point when showing a mate something interesting. Half inch, pinch. Hopefully you won't find yourself around a lot of actual thievery in London. You certainly damn well will if you wander around Homer and a Hackney. <laughs> All you will have to do is hang around a supermarket or something in here for, we'll say, half an hour. Just go stand by the door, watch the self-scans. About half an hour, you'll see a load of people run out the door, security guards tussling with them, silliness occurring, people chucking stuff under the self-scans without paying and scanning one item. You, you won't need to wait long. China plate, mate. In, in Crockney rhyming slang, me old China means a really good friend. So if someone refers to you as their China, you've done well. Cream crackered, knackered. I'm um, cream crackered is often said after a long day, and we're, we're now we're writing it down seems pretty silly. Pork pies, pork... Uh, <laughs> um, in some places, it's become porky pies or even porky pines. I have never heard anyone say porcupines ever. 
I don't know where they're getting that one from. Pork pies, porkies, yes, porky pines. Never heard anyone say that. We promised you 100 words and phrases. Let's see what they've got. Jam tart, heart, hamstered, teeth, hamstered heath. Chalfoy St. Giles, piles. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Some of these are getting a bit... Chalk farm arm, plates of meat, feet. Load of bread, head, lump of lead, head. Mince pies, eyes, north and south, mouth. Orchestra stalls, balls, in and out, snout, as in nose, life and death, bread, bottle and glass, arse, kyber pass, arse. We've got a bit of a little fascination with arse on here. Sag and onion, bunion. Boiled beef and carrots, claret, itself slang for blood. Bottle of beer, ear, fruit and nuts, guts, Oliver Hardy, lardy. Um, I think that one's going to be a bit dated. I don't think too many, unless it's someone middle-aged or upwards, a lot of younger kids aren't going to know who Stan and Ollie were. Clothes pegs, legs, Toby jugs, lugs, pipe and drum, bum. Definite fascination going on with bottoms in this list. That's about, if you count the, the fact that they talked about it on the opening, that's the fourth time they've now they've done one. Mickey Bliss, piss as in take the Mickey. Cockney phrases, people. Baker's dozen, cousin, Barnaby Rudge, judge, skin and blister, sister, bricks and mortar, daughter. Oh, my God. Cows and kisses, missus, wife, trouble and strife, wife, bottle and stopper, copper, Dunlop tire, liar, old bag, hag or any unpleasant woman, septic tank, yank as in American, dustbin lid, kid. Cockney phrases, clothing, whistle and flute, suit of clothes, tomfoolery, jewellery. I think you're probably more likely to hear Tom Forey used by West Indian kids nowadays talking about someone being an idiot or silliness or someone behaving in a stupid way than, than in this particular usage. Alan Wickers, knickers, ascot racers, braces, dicky dirt, shirt, daisy roots, boots, stinky doos, shoes. I haven't heard that particular expression since I was a kid. Irish pig, wig, and I haven't heard that since I was a small kid either. Isle of Wight, tights, Lionel Blair's. Oh, come on, Lionel. <laughs> Only again if someone's up a middle age. Lionel Blair's been, has passed on for a fair bit now, if I remember. Peckham Rye, tie, round the houses, trousers. Kettle and Hob, watch. Lucy Lockett, pocket. Alban Rock, socks. Cockney Fraser's, eating and drinking. Fisherman's Daughter, water. Hag Marvin, that one's, yeah, reasonably common. Loop the Loop, Soup, Rosie Lee, Roast Pork, Fork, Rubber Dub, Pub, yep, still in re reasonable use. Ruby Murray, Curry, Vera Lynn, Gin, Army and Navy Gravy. I haven't heard this one, Army and Navy, in God knows when. The Army and Navy stores aren't even something that's in most people's heads anymore. Borrow and beg, eggs, satin and milk, m silk, milk, pig and roast, toast, near and far, bar, battle cruiser, boozer, rubber dub, pub. Oh, I didn't notice someone's put rubber dug up further. Oh, oh. <laughs> so the, you can see that this list was prepared with exceeding care and attention and, and no copying and pasting at all. Give and take, cake, chewy toffee, coffee. I've never heard anyone say that. I've never heard anyone walk into a coffee shop and go, give me some chewy. Never heard that in my life. Brahms and list, pissed as in very drunk. Cockney phrases, weather, current bun, sun. Yep. Mork and Mindy. Oh, come on. Mork and Mindy hasn't been on the telly since the 1970s. I can't imagine yet again anyone, but someone fairly up there, 50s, 60s, saying it. I'm 52 and I just about barely remember Mork and Mindy. David Starkey, Parky, peas in the pot, hot, taters in the mould, cold. Vincent Price, weasel and stow, coat, red and yellow, umbrella. Never heard that one either. Ache and pain, rain, cockney phrases, money and numbers, lost and found, a pound, cock and hen, tenner a tenner, bag of sand. Jeffrey Archer, two grand. Yeah, that's based allegedly on a bribed Archer talk, but that's getting back a bit. Lady Godiva, fiver. Cow's calf, 50 pence. 
Gregory Peck, check. Bottle of glue, two. Holy C, three. Standing or four. Fiddlestick, six. Extra and Devon, seven. I feel like a bingo caller at this point. Garden Gate, eight. Coal Mine, nine. Cock and Hin, ten. Helen, eleven. Heaven, eleven. Dig and Delve, twelve. Letter Sawing, fourteen. Muscles of Plenty, twenty. Green Gages, Wagers. Sausage and Mash, Rattle and Clank, Bank. Cockney phrases and miscellaneous. Let's see if the same great attention to detail with absolutely no spelling errors or strange assertions has been used here. Cut and carried married. Cop a flower pot. Cop it hot as in to get in serious trouble. Crowded space. Suitcase. Lump of ice. Advice. Oily rag. Fag. As in cigarette. Penny comfort. Uh, YouTube. Before I go on, I'm talking about cigarettes. Nothing else. Bread and cheese. Sneeze. Once a week, beak, as in a magistrate, custard and jelly, telly, stand to attention, pension, short a sheet, in the street, as in homeless, yet to be, free as within cost, box of toys, noise, Bob Hope. Some of these were actually used. I can remember the one with Bob Hope and that, and you might find an older person who might use them, but these they're, they refer to media personalities or movie stars or people from we have been dead for several decades in many cases. Kick and prance, dance, Robert and Pork talk, Darby and Joan, moan, Barney rubble, Duke of Kent, rent, pubble and squeak, Greek, Vera Lynn, skin, as in cigarette paper, Adam and Eve, pen and ink, stink, dog and bone, phone, Jack Jones alone, cobbler's alls, balls, burn lime, time as in prison. Oh, I'm not going to read out their version of um, Cockney rhyming slang as a history. I would suggest you go and look up a, a more in, <laughs> involved history, as I suspect that someone's gone and done a bit of AI sourcing rather than done a really serious deep dive on it. And I'm just mucking around here. But if you're really interested to to learn about it, or Polari, or other forms of rhyming slang, or or can or or back slang or stuff like that, it's worth learning about. But I'd suggest rather, shall we say, rather better sources than seem to be in use for this.